Yes. So here we have um, the drawing, which I simply call multiple amputee awaiting deportation. An interesting thing happened about this drawing because I had seen it on some website. Actually, I didn't remember where I had seen it, but I had a photograph of it a year or two ago. I earmarked it as one of the next two works I wanted to do, like for a mosaic drawing, the other one being my great-grandmother mm. and my mother's grandmother. And I had the photograph, but I didn't remember where I had seen it. So I was working on the drawing for like a while, and uh, I actually didn't know if the person was Jewish or not. And then um, a second or third internet search, I finally found it in some website. And it, uh, it said, uh, limbless Jewish woman, um, uh, seated outdoors in Wuj, loads in English, in Poland, awaiting deportation, tra whatever, transport to the Nazi death camp at Chelmno. So I was actually relieved because I had, by that time I had already drawn some of the same uh, wooden synagogues book fo from photographs of the wall frescoes in, as you've seen in the, in in the other two, two of the works. Yeah. Um, like this image is in the Young Mao Star of David and also in the Mira Steiner uh, piece. So, um, on the recommendation of my friend Clarice, she had urged me to um, keep the mosaic kind of neutral toned. Like mainly gray, so it's not the track from the drawing. I started out that way on the right, and I did this uh, second. And then, as I was working my way down here, I, I couldn't resist putting in some kind of patterning. And uh, can you tell what this is over here? Oh, one of any of you? Oh, it's certainly it's a, a it's a bird, it's, it's a dove or eagle. It's a cat. Is it a quetzal? No, it's got a very large wing. I'm waiting for the answer. You beak. see the beak? Is this the beak? No, no wing, 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 beak, wing. Oh, eye, beak. Oh, eye. Oh, I see eye. Oh. This? Nope. So, um. If, maybe if you stand over here and look this way, it'll be more obvious. Yeah. Then again, the, that's yeah. it. I yeah. can see it too now. Then. There's actually two beaks. Because <laughs> <laughs> this blue one kind of looks like a like a beak also, uh -huh. but this is the beak here as I originally put it in. Okay. Oh Wing my goodness. Like that. It's from a, from a black and white photograph I had of a color drawing I had done of a parakeet in flight like nine <laughs> years ago. So, but things kind of get... Ab what, why did it seem important to you to put that on this piece? Well, I just wanted to have something in there somewhere that would be... So the, so the last two mosaics I did was this one, which has all mm -hmm. this imagery in there. Mm -hmm. And there's one over there, which you won't be able to see now until April, when I have it at the Seattle Central Community College exhibit, which also has a lot of different imagery in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I just didn't want to do just entirely pattern and abstract whatever. Uh, so, uh, anyway, so I chose a, a parakeet in the lower left here. There's another mosaic here, which you can kind of get a glimpse of, which also has the second one.